As he just mentioned over on the North Shore, officials are concerned. They're asking everyone to stay <coughs> off the roads tonight and tomorrow. Erica Ferrando joining us live tonight near Causeway, near the Causeway, I should say, in Mandeville. Erica, how are things out there? Well, I wouldn't want to be out in this, so that's enough reason to stay home. The causeway is actually down to one lane in each direction, 45 miles an hour limit, and we haven't really seen too many people driving around, which is a good thing, even though we haven't seen too many patches of ice or anything on the roads. Officials are still saying that this icy weather makes it a better reason to stay home tonight. Aquista Paces in Covington was busy early Monday afternoon with people preparing to spend this chilly night indoors. I'm going to go home and make some gumbo. What kind of last minute stuff you getting? Just like some um, wine and different little stuff like that, candy. Others prepared to protect their pipes. Always wait to the last minute, but thanks goodness the Ace Hardware hat wasn't out of what I needed. So I got to cover pipes and plants and you know, protect the animals tonight. Light an ice warm fire. St. Tammany Parish schools will continue distance learning Tuesday as Parish President Mike Cooper urges people to stay home in this freezing weather. Public works crews put sand out over bridges as water remaining on the roads could turn into patches of ice overnight. Any precipitation on the ground is going to ice up, making road conditions are very hazardous. Further north in Washington Parish, just outside of Prey Clinton, a 53-year-old man was killed in a trailer fire. The fire marshal is investigating the cause to confirm if it was related to the winter weather. But the fire chief did say the victim's power went out around 9 a.m. and had just come back on right before they got the call for the fire. When we got on scene, the house was fully involved. Main knockdown, we found one victim in the house. Tangipahoa experienced icy roads and downed trees. The northern part of I-55 is still closed, but the portion from Laplace to Ponchatoula reopened Monday afternoon. Stay home, off the roads. Last, <laughs> last time we had ice, my husband slid in the ditch, so we're going to stay home. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have a Mardi Gras because look what we have to deal with. An official with the causeway told us they don't expect conditions to worsen, so they don't anticipate having to close the causeway, but they will keep it a single lane in each direction with a 45 mile per hour speed limit just to be safe. Live in Mandeville, I'm Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Okay, Erica, good to know. Thank you.